Welcome back to another of our favorites compilations videos here on A Stream in Life, where we show some of our favorite things from our 2017 travels. This one we have hinted at in previous episodes. Today we are talking about beer. One of Steve's favorite things. I am specifically breweries. Yes. I am not going to be commenting too much about the beer since I do not drink beer, but we went to many breweries on our travels and we have decided, or Steve has decided, with a little input from me, on our top five. So getting right into it, number five favorite brewery from our 2017 travels in our Airstream, Cas it's in Cascade River Gorge, Full Sail Brewery. Full Sail. And you can find Full Sail all over the country. Yes. But we just happen to be at the brewery. Yes. So you can't not go. So this was the one we were sitting like on the Columbia River. Yes. I remember that like it was yesterday. It was rushing past us. It was really nice outside. And I don't think they, if they did have food, we didn't have any, but I, they did have wine. I had a glass of wine. I remember that now. Um, but did you? Okay. Yeah. But I think the atmosphere was one of the best things about that brewery. It was very unique. Yeah. yeah. Right by a rushing river. Yeah. And, and the beer was good too. I don't think there was anything like stand out special about the beer itself but the whole environment and the experience was really nice yes exactly so okay number four also in oregon actually a number of these are in oregon um number four was in astoria at buoy beer mm. this one is also right along the columbia river but you're inside gorgeous because it's right in astoria where the bridge is to cross over to washington um full-on restaurant we had good food and there is something that stands out about this one. Yes, the beer. In particular, they had a coffee beer. And if you're a beer drinker and you like coffee, like coffee stouts, for example, a lot of them, in my experience, are mainly stouts with just a hint of coffee. But if you're a coffee drinker like I am, you will love this beer. It was only temporary because they were actually working with a local coffee company in town to make this beer. Um, but it was really coffee. There was a really strong taste of absolutely delicious coffee in this beer. By far the best coffee beer I've ever had in Astoria. Yeah. Well, ever. Buoy. Well, yes, ever, ever. But in Astoria. But it was in Astoria. Yes. yes. At Buoy beer. Delicious beer. De well, delicious coffee beer. Yes, and the food was quite good too, and atmosphere. I'm sure the food was good. You but don't remember really that it's as the much. Beer. <laughs> I remember that I ate, so that was good. Okay, number three That's favorite good. brewery from our travels is Mount Shasta. It's the Shasta Brewing Company. Oh, is that the one with the jalapeno beer? Yes, that was the one with the jalapeno I beer. I think I choked the first time I took, a, I took a sip. Not because it was bad, but because the jalapeno beer was actually spicy. Yeah, it was a it light was beer spicy. though, but it was spicy. Yes, it, it, had, a, it, had, it had a nice jalapeno flavor, um, but it was definitely hot. Yeah. So if you, if you don't like spice or if you don't like jalapeno, this is not the beer for you. Um, but I like both of those things, as long as it's not too much. And this was an amazing beer. Definitely something that you remember. Pretty sure they had food as well. We had a little bit of food there. I think they and did. And they had their jalapeno beer actually bottled. So we got a couple of bottles of it, and we shared it with friends later in our journeys, which was kind of a nice because yeah. a nice thing. Because like the, like the previous one, the coffee beer, it was a limited edition, and so they didn't have any bottled, and so we didn't actually end up, end up taking any home with us. But... The jalapeno beer we did. It was it was it was really good. Okay, number two favorite brewery from our travels is Ten Barrel Brewery in Bend, in Bend Oregon. Oh man. Also amazing food. Like this one actually has probably the best food of all of them that we talked about that I remember. Um, had really good food, but. That is not why Steve remembers it the as flight. makes it number two. A lot of breweries have flights where you get like a little three or five ounce sample of a few different beers. But at 10 barrel brewing, how many do you think you get there? 10. Yeah. 10. For the a same flight price. For about the same price. Of course, everything is cheaper. Every alcohol is cheaper in Oregon. Yeah, at least the beer um, and wine. So it was, it was an amazing flight. Way more than I had expected, but I liked everything. There. Even the IPAs. And Even, you're not a big IPA Yes, drink. the IPAs weren't very hoppy. I do not like hops. My taste buds do not do hops. It completely ruins my taste buds. So I do not do hops when I can help it. But they let you try everything, so I'm not going to turn them down. <laughs> and they were actually pretty decent IPAs. So that was, that was a standout brewery because of they were all good, 
and there were so many in the flight, so I got to try them all, which was really cool. Really cool. Okay, number one favorite brewery, really anywhere, but in our travels, is here in Tucson, actually. There's a, tu- there's a brewery called Thunder Canyon in Tucson. There's a couple different locations here, and I like the Deep Canyon Amber, which is available at the local Total Wines in the state of Arizona. So you could find uh, that possibly near you if you're in Arizona or Yeah, it's like a gold in can. In fact, I, I, should, I should have one. I have one in there. It's like a gold can. And that is my favorite amber I think I've ever tried. It's got a little bit of malt, but just the right amount of malt for my particular taste buds. They also have food. Last couple of times that we've been there, it's been kind of so-so with, with the service and menu, food quality. And it was good food for a long time, but the last couple of times we've been there, food hasn't been as good. Um, there's other breweries in Tucson we've been going they, to. They had a couple of good burgers food, at, at one point, like the Baja Burger, yeah. uh, like spicy cheese. And, and good uh, salads. It too. was very good. Um, but, but you, yeah, we go back just because you, could, you love your amber. I love my amber, and we go back specifically because of that. There's a, a noteworthy uh, brewery in Tucson also. Bonus! Sentinel Brewery. Sentinel Peak. Sentinel Peak Brewery. Um, that has very good beer, but the food, for especially for a brewery, is absolutely delicious. They do their own barbecue. Delicious. Oh my goodness, good. Oh, if you like mac and cheese, these are rich, dense, artery clogging kill you 10 years earlier mac and cheese and they actually and have that was deli- i mean they're they're all so good they have a jalapeno beer there too you haven't tried it though no I, they have a mexican amber yeah um which is which is good it's still not quite deep canyon amber from thunder canyon but it's really close they have another porter also which i really like in a brown ale so um that's another choice if you're looking for food as well as beer yes in tucson, in tucson. only in tucson so those are our favorite breweries from our 2017 travels around in our Airstream. Uh, stay tuned for more Compilation Favorites videos coming up. If you have something you would like to see us mention, do a compilation, do a Favorites video on, even if we did not do it in our 2017 travels, we'd like you to comment below because maybe in our 2018 travels, we will do that. So we've had people suggest things like um, most our dog's favorite places or the best rest stops we stopped at or different things like that. And while we don't have footage or remember necessarily those from 2017, we're going to keep those in mind as we travel in 2018 so that we can do another series of these next year. So if you have something you would like to see our favorites about while we travel, leave it in the comments below and stay tuned next week for another episode. And hope you like this. Fair and enough. hopefully it was about beer. So, I mean, what was not to like? I was thinking about holding a beer while we were doing this episode, but something didn't feel right about that. I think we'll just go have So as soon as we now. cut, I'm grabbing a beer. Yeah. You should too. Okay. Unless it's like, well, and then I'm not even going to go. Okay. We'll see you next time. Bye, guys. As I was saying, unless it's like 7 o'clock in the morning. It's always, it's always 7 o'clock. <laughs>